All right. I think this will be the last video that I do before I get into uh, how to use the shell more efficiently. Um, but I wanted to just mention and go over some of the configurations that you might want to do <clears throat> with Tmux. So I'm currently using Tmux and you can tell by the little uh, status line that's at the bottom. And T all Tmux is, is a way to uh, run many uh, shells at once in a convenient way, I would say. So <clears throat> one of the nicest things about Tmux is uh, that, let's say, let's do an LS just so that we have something on the screen. Um, <clears throat> you can uh, detach from Tmux and then pull up everything exactly where you left off. Uh, so as long as the Tmux server, so when you start up Tmux, it starts up a server essentially uh, that you can, and then creates a session for you. Um, and that session gets saved on the server uh, and it's just a local server, right? It's not, con you know, you can't connect to it via the internet. Um, you probably could configure it too, um, but <clears throat> It's not by default anyway set up to be connected to from the internet um, and you can detach from it by uh, hitting your prefix key which I'll talk about in a sec and then hitting D so that detaches from it and now I'm just in a regular uh, terminal uh, but then I can do uh, tmux attach and it will attach to um, whatever session uh, I think you can actually give it a dash T uh, zero option and it'll attach to uh, that session if you just give it attach with no session it'll just pick a session for you essentially um, and that brings me back right to where I was so even if you have to log out and log back in uh, from your uh, user account uh, that tmux session will still be saved uh, only when you totally exit uh, tmux uh, does and your server goes down or if you shut off your computer does that session uh, become unsaved uh, so what can we do in tmux well one of the things that we can do is we can split this whole screen into uh, separate panes right so this whole screen is what tmux, uh, tmux refers to as a window and we can split that by typing our prefix key and which in my case is control X and then uh, the uh, double quote will uh, split it uh, vertically like this um, and then a percentage sign will split it uh, horizontally um, and you can do that like multiple times. Um, and then you can move between those uh, with various different uh, commands. The default uh, command, uh, prefix and then semicolon, will switch between your current pane and your last pane. So like this is a whole window and then these are various window panes. Makes sense. Uh, it's a sort of, you know, nice terminology, I think. And you can just kill a pane by just killing the uh, shell itself, which you can do by typing control D at the very beginning of the line or exit. So I'll type uh, exit on this one and then control D on this one to bring me back to where I was. Uh, you can also create new windows and your windows are listed here at the bottom, right? So to create a new window, that's control or in my case, control X and then C. And I have it set up so that uh, <clears throat> when I open up a new window, it splits it down the middle and selects the left window. Um, <clears throat> and I can just, you know, delete one of those to get it to be just win one window, or I can do uh, control X and then percent to split it horizontally again. Um, I also have set up so that if I have like a lot of pains uh, going on, 
uh, I have my prefix key and then control J, H, J, K, and L move uh, left, down, up, and right, respectively, uh, so that I can uh, move between these uh, panes pretty efficiently. Um, if you don't have uh, those prefixes set up, uh, control X O will cycle between all of your panes, uh, which is nice if you're using Emacs and you have your uh, prefix key to be control X, then it's very similar to Emacs. So I have my Tmux configuration pulled up here in Emacs, uh, which I just pulled up in Emacs because it's got syntax highlighting, which makes it kind of nice. And if uh, you want to do some of these configurations yourself, um, the first thing that you want to do if you want to change your prefix key, by default it's set to uh, control B. So you need to unbind that and then set the option, um, set option dash G prefix control X. And then also, uh, if you want to send an actual control X to the to the terminal, which you might need to do sometimes, uh, you want to say bind key CX send prefix. So typing control X twice will uh, send your prefix, uh, send control X to the terminal. And then I also have, uh, so you can enter uh, copy mode by typing your prefix and then left bracket. And that essentially allows you to go up into your like terminal history and you can copy things um, as well as view history. Uh, so what this set of commands right here does is it allows me to scroll up and down a single line with J and K. Um, you can also, um, so if I type LS a couple of times, uh, you can, once you've entered copy mode, uh, you can scroll up and down with meta V and control V, scroll up a whole page, and you get out of copy mode by typing Q, or if you uh, type control space and then move around, it, you can see that it highlights things, uh, and then typing uh, meta W will copy uh, all of that uh, so that you can insert it later. So if I type meta W there, um, <clears throat> what that'll do is with control X and then control right or like close bracket, that will paste whatever I most recently copied. If you've copied a lot of things and you wanna like paste a particular selection, you can type control X and then uh, equals um, and that will bring up this menu, which sort of shows all of the things that you've copied uh, in Tmux, and you can select one of them to copy. Um, so these, this set of uh, you know key bindings right here is what I uh, told you about when uh, switching panes. So Control X, Control L goes to the right. Uh, control X, Control H goes to the left. Uh, control X, let me split this paint pane vertically so that I can show you. Control X, Control K goes up, and Control X, Control J goes down. And if you do them quick enough, you actually don't have to hit Control X uh, for each one. So if I type Control X and then Control J and then Control A very quickly in succession, it'll do this, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, and then navigating between windows, I didn't mention, uh, Control X, Control P will take you to the previous window, and Control X, Control N will take you to the next window, and that wraps, as you can see here. Um, and then Control X L, or your prefix L, will take you to the last window that you visited. So if I create a couple windows, um, I can go to a specific window by typing Control X and then the number, right? So now you can see down here, I'm on this second window. Uh, and then if I go control X L, that'll take me back to the fourth window. Um, and then this is just what I have set up so that after a new session, it uh, creates uh, a just single window with uh, two 
split horizontally panes. And then also when I create a new window, uh, it does the same thing. So that's what those are doing right there. And then this is just setting some colors, right? So these are very different from the default colors, but I've set them to match the color configuration of my Emacs styles. And then I've got a set option dash G mouse on uh, to enable me to highlight things with my mouse and copy and paste them. So if you just drag and click, um, it'll copy that and it'll exit copy mode for you. You can also just start scrolling up with the mouse on the wheel and it will scroll up for you. Um, and then the last thing that I have is this copy command. So <clears throat> when you do a copy, uh, it'll copy it to e Tmux's uh, internal copy buffer, which I showed you with uh, the prefix key and then equals. Uh, but it will also copy it to the system clipboard, right? So if I select, uh, let me do something like uh, .tmux.conf, and then I go into Emacs, right? Um, and let me go to the scratch buffer, and let me make it uh, a little bit, um, let me make it a little bit, bigger, um, I can paste it in uh, Emacs with Emacs's regular paste command, which is control Y. Um, so that's pretty convenient. And that's really uh, the entirety of my Tmux configuration. Um, it's got pretty sensible defaults for the most part though. And I think I've covered uh, pretty much all of them. So, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, hit like if you like this video, hit dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, in either case, uh, leave a comment down below letting me know why, as well as if you have any questions, criticisms, or concerns. And as always, if you wanna get notified when I make new videos, uh, hit subscribe. Thanks, peace.